What up, what's good? It's your boy BQ. This is the Impact Lounge, number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan here on YouTube. Last month was Instagram month for the Impact Lounge, and I didn't do a really good job of pushing that. So I want to push it again this month or July. If you haven't followed the Impact Lounge on Instagram, please do so. And that would be greatly appreciated. We did hit 700 last month followers. We're trying to hit 800 this month. I haven't been too good with the IG, but I've, uh, I've been stepping up the content on there. So hope you guys dig it. So give us a follow on the IG. Also, if you haven't gotten the opportunity to check out my last podcast, Ranking the Knockouts, who are the best knockouts in Impact Wrestling, please do so and check that out. So topic of today, if you guys haven't seen this article online, I'm going to paste it in the description of this video and it's regarding Taylor Wilde who on her podcast, I don't think it was on her podcast, I think it was on a different one, as a matter of fact, she was letting us know what her initial plans were to return to Impact Wrestling. You know, we had seen some teasing online and on social media, she's a former two-time Knockouts Tag Team Champion, and even recently she's teased possibly coming back. And this article kind of sheds a little bit of light on the situation, she was supposed to return to the company and I say return but work with me here return to the company at the lockdown show so if you guys remember it was team Madison rain versus team Jordan grace that's what was on the card but we didn't know who the participants were just yet we just knew that on team uh, Jordan grace Alicia Edwards was gonna be on her team and then Madison's team I believe was all uh, to be announced so I think they still had to announce a couple for Jordan Grace's team too. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I believe was the case. And Madison Rain was to be announced. Now, I can confirm with you guys, I had said this on a podcast previously, I think it was one of my Impact Wrestling reviews, that my assumption was that Moose was supposed to win the TNA world title at TNA No Place Like Home. Because if you guys caught it on one of the episodes of Impact, they said it was going to be a King of the Mountain match for the world title. Now, obviously, that didn't happen. And, you know, I can confirm with you that that's what was supposed to happen. That's how Moose was supposed to get the gold. And um, instead, they, you know, they delivered it the way they are right now, where he kind of just stole the title. Reason I say that is because Madison, if you notice, she's a big advocate of Moose in the commentary booth. So it makes me wonder if she was actually going to be doing a very similar thing with the knockouts title or just bringing back some prior knockouts. No idea. You know, all we can do is speculate and fantasy book. But Taylor Wilde was supposed to be in the lockdown event. I would imagine probably as Mad one of Madison Rain's partners, but obviously lockdown didn't happen. I talked about on the channel here several months ago that everything that Impact has canceled this year i was told they at least have the plans to try and do it at some point so even though we didn't get locked down i'm sure we will still see lockdown in some shape or form when it ultimately you know when they're ultimately ultimately cleared to do it so anyway that's when she was so supposed to debut now here's the thing she has been dropping some hints on social media i think june 11th might have been the last time she did it but it was early june i know that much dropping some social media hints that something was coming. She even posted a picture. It was like a cartoon of her with the um, Impact, Impact uh, Knockouts Championship belt. So there's been some teasing. But here is the thing that, you know, she works in Canada. She said with the Windsor tapings, you know, she was obviously able to come to those tapings, you know, residing in Canada. Um, she has her, you know, normal nine to five job up there. And, you know, we've seen with the Windsor tapings, they take you know, Aiden Prince and uh, I think Brent Banks is the other dude's name, um, Alexi Nicole, and they have no problem pimping them out for the Windsor tapings and never actually signing them. So she said this uh, appearance at lockdown was actually going to be more of a tryout to see where they went with it. But, you know, she was also kind of alluding to, you know, it worked out because it was Windsor. She kind of alludes to the fact that maybe she might be one of those talents who only shows up in Canada because she's traveling into the United States was a totally different ball game and required a lot more paperwork. So I don't know if Impact is going to take it to that extreme because obviously I, I named three talents that we've seen. Also guys like El Reverso that they just, they use on Explosion. They use, you know, Windsor tapings and then we never see them come to the United States. So, you know, maybe she would be one of those people. 
we don't really know, but she has been teasing possibly, um, you know, returning. So I guess we're going to see what happens, but she was Taylor Wilde was supposed to appear at the impact wrestling lockdown show. Now, um, I mentioned explosion a second ago and you know, I think we've been an advocate here at the Impact Lounge for a while on changing the format of Explosion. And I, I rarely, sometimes I'll watch the featured match on Explosion, but I have no interest in the Josh Matthews interviews or the um, the classic matches. But from what I was told overseas, the Explosion numbers do really, really well. And it's a pretty big revenue generator. So uh, at, at that format. So we're not going to see a change to the explosion format anytime soon. Uh, you guys probably hear the siren in the background. Sorry about that. I can never just have absolute silence when I'm doing these uploads. But uh, to go back to what I was saying, I don't expect a change to the explosion format anytime soon. Even though it's not popular in the United States, what I was told is that the overseas numbers are actually really, really excellent for explosion. And it is a popular show. So that's probably how it's going to stay for quite some time. Thanks for checking out the Impact Lounge, folks. If you're first time here, please hit that subscribe button and I'm out. Peace.